into it. So there was no packet, it was just a package with noodles. Kind of expensive back then, but then after a bit of time, supply and demand and all that, then it became quite cheap as we know it today. So today, I'll be doing some special top ramen with some ad additions to it, and I uh, hope you like it. All right, so let's get started. Of course, the first thing you're gonna need is pot and some water. You know, so a couple cups of water, a pot, some heat. And I'm a big fan of having egg in the ramen, so I'm gonna go ahead and fry an egg. So, we are ready for the eggs. I'm just throwing the shells on the floor. I have a trash can right next to me. And, voila. One thing I like to do, let the yolks get a little going. thing in the pan. I'm going to add some turkey lunch meat on top there like that. And great stuff. It's called Lindbergh Snyder Porterhouse and Roast Seasoning. It is worth finding. Just a little bit of that. Actually it has a lot of sage in it and it goes good with things that are going to be involved in chicken. Or at least chicken flavor in the poultry. There are the eggs. I cover those up and turn them off for a little bit. The pan's really hot, so I'm just going to take those, put them inside for now, and wait for our water to boil. All right, so now it's time to crack open the noodles. I'm a firm believer in leaving the noodle block as is, so not a, not crunching it itself at all. Just leaving it as one block. So there's that. Standard one, two, three minutes. We got the packet. Which, of course, I will use the whole packet. Some people prefer to not use the whole packet. I don't understand, but I guess if you really don't want to, that's just fine. Now, if you want to add other things at this point, you totally can. I'm going to add a couple interesting items towards the end of the cooking. So, when this thing is about done, I'll add those in. Alright, so the noodles are about done. So, I'm going to add a couple special items. First, I was watching a video on a website called eatyourkimchi.com and 
they mentioned bok choy. And this was going to be put, this was put in uh, Shin Ramyun, but we'll try it in this one and see how it goes. It's kind of a little bit of veg going on. Just right at the end when we want to put this kind of stuff in. Get in there. Now, another thing that they mentioned, which I thought was kind of weird, but hey, it's actually turned out to be quite good. Processed cheese. Who'd have thunk it? Nevertheless, processed cheese will be added to the pot. And let that sit there for a second or two. It actually kind of gives it a little bit of a heartier flavor and thickens it up slightly. Alright, next we go to plating. All right, so we're ready to put everything in the bowl. We're gonna start with our pot of noodles. Okay. Those all looking nice there. Notice it's taken on a little bit creamier of a hue because of the, the processed cheese. And then it's time for our egg, our omelette. Now we're going to add three more things. First, this right here it's one of my favorite things in the world it's called kazami shoga and it's pickled ginger usually you'll find it on yakisoba and so mm, it's got a really sharp flavor it's ginger and really nice stuff I really like it and also big fan of this stuff. Fried shallots. These go really well. They're a little crunchy and they can soak up some liquid and let the flavor permeate everything nicely. Of course, fresh shallots um, that are fried are even better, but didn't have time for that today. So. And last but not least, I'm going to add a little bit of fire, some Texas peat hot sauce. It's pretty good. It's not really hot, but it adds some nice flavor to things. Voila! There's what we're having for Momofuku Ando Day here. Chicken top Nissen chicken top ramen with a two egg omelet with Lindbergh Snyder porterhouse and roast seasoning, a little bit of uh, turkey lunch meat, roast turkey, and some bok choy, processed a slice of processed cheese, some Texas peat hot sauce. And a little bit of 